A very good example of a handprint on the back of a painting is Har number 65925. And this painting on the front has the protector deity Drokse Wongmo. Drokse Wongmo is female, one face, two arms. In her right hand, she's holding a, a heart and she's holding it up to her mouth. In the left hand, she's holding a mirror. Um, she's uh, definitely wrathful in appearance and um, wearing a necklace of 50 freshly severed heads. And she's maroon in color, brownish maroon. So this, this painting only has this one large central figure. On the viewer's left at the upper corner is uh, Guru Padmasambhava, and on the upper right is the human figure uh, Terdak Lingpa, Girme Dorje. How we know this is partially because of uh, the iconography. Um, the, the clothing, um, the, the little bit elderly appearance, the um, usually a bit of a beard as well. But we also have an inscription on the back. So on the back, what we have is the letters Om Ah Hung, representing body, speech, and mind, representing the realized, the pure nature and body, speech, and mind of uh, Padmasambhava and Terdak Lingpa. And then uh, we also have the letters Om Ah Hung for uh, Drokse Wongmo that go down the central axis of the back of the painting. Then we have the outline of a hand. Uh, in, in yellow or gold uh, color. And then we have uh, uh, three, uh, what appear to be, or two mantras uh, or dharanis written. Uh, one at uh, the top line and then the second is, or is uh, the remaining two lines. But at the very bottom of the, uh, of the back of the painting, we have an inscription that is quite difficult to read, but we have an inscription which actually states that the hand print is that of Terdak Lingpa. So this also helps us to, to identify Terdak Lingpa on the front. So it's his hand print on the back. Now his hand print here on the back of the painting is not to be revered. The point of this painting is it's a protector deity uh, and it's uh, being used or created for the use of a practitioner, somebody who has some devotion or trust in the Buddhist protector, Drogse Wongmo. The handprint on the back is adding a blessing to this uh, ritual uh, object. Uh, so, so this is a, just a good example of how the handprint, often on the back of a painting, um, is used as a as a kind of a blessing, but it is not meant as the as the central subject. It is not meant as a representation, uh, an object of devotion, representing the 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 living guru or or recently passed uh, teacher. It doesn't represent that. It's a, it's done as a blessing, um, and the main subject of the painting is the Drokse Wongmo on the front, the wrathful protector. So this is just a good example of, of an easy to understand, uh, um, not so complicated composition. Press the like button. You can subscribe and you can also help support Har on Patreon.